Good morning and welcome to Agoracom Small Cap News uh, TV. It's Thursday, November the 21st, 2013. I've done my morning routine. I've gone through a bunch of press releases to find the best ones. And uh, <clears throat> ultimately, I've, well, I give you my uh, insights into what uh, stood out about that news. And ultimately, the goal is to help you find uh, good companies to do your homework on and find some investment winners in there. I'm Alan Barry Labucan. I'm the chief market commentator for Agoracom. On today's news, I've got about five companies to discuss, and um, we're trying to keep it to around a 10-minute uh, time frame for the show, so I'm going to get right to it. The first company I wanted to talk about today is Terrace uh, Resources. Terrace Resources has the uh, Kahula Gold uh, Silver Project in Imperial County, California. Um, lately, I've been talking about this company's uh, drill results, uh, and they're they're looking pretty good on uh, several batches. Uh, they had a new batch of drill results out today. Um, some very good intersections in there. They had a 3.1 meter intersection of 10 gram, 10.27 grams per ton gold. Uh, had another uh, intersection of uh, 25. Uh, 0.9 meters of uh, 2.23 grams per ton gold. Uh, there was other drill holes in there as well, but uh, things are moving along quite nicely. Uh, what's interesting about this drilling? Oh, excuse me. Just uh, had forgot to turn my phone off before I started the show. Um, uh, the um, the uh, uh, the uh, what's interesting about this is drilling is that the um, the intersections are outside of their defined uh, mineral resource, um, so it looks like they're they've got uh, their mineral resources in, is growing in size, so that's very interesting. Uh, then oh sorry uh, the I'm just looking at the stock now. Um, Pulled up the wrong company there. Uh, here we go. Okay, so their uh, their stock today is down one cent to forty seven cents. Um, looking at the stocks action, uh, they've uh, they they were in September until early September they were sort of a um, patchy trader. Uh, then they started to trade a lot more volume consistently on a day-to-day -day basis. I think that's probably coincides with when they started to have the results out from this uh, gold project in uh, California. It had a pretty significant run in the latter part of September, early October. Gave back almost all of those gains um, and uh, now looks like it could be f uh, flattening out and trying to find a bottom. Um, we'll be keeping an eye on that. TRA uh, is their stock symbol. They trade on the Venture Exchange. The next company I wanted to talk about today is Midway Gold. Uh, Midway Gold announced that they've started to purchase their long lead time orders for their PAN project in Nevada. Um, the final environmental impact review our impact statement uh, uh, is complete and construction is to be expected to begin before the end of the year. Um, so they're moving ahead with that project quite nicely. Uh, just looking at the stock today, it's down three cents to 92 cents today uh, on the stock trend. Um, they've, uh, they've been uh, sort of trending sideways since about May. They've had a couple of uh, moves up, one in June. Uh, one in late August, gave back all of those gains. Um, you know, it, it could be uh, because they're turning into more development that they won't have a lot of uh, news out on the exploration front, that maybe the market isn't getting overly excited these days. Um, but, uh, you know, fundamentally these are uh, kind of companies that I like to follow and I will continue. MDW is their stock symbol they trade on Toronto. Uh, the next company is Probe Mines. Uh, Probe Mines announced excellent metallurgical recoveries from their high-grade uh, deposit uh, zone in the Borden Gold Project, which is in Ontario. Uh, they've done some preliminary uh, metallurgical results and uh, for the potential of underground high-grade mineralization. Uh, so it looks like they've got uh, that, uh, that metallurgical in, uh, under control. Uh, very good recoveries uh, from that testing. 
Um, probe, uh, I've talked to several times about Probe. Uh, they've been getting some really good drill results that caught my attention. They're down six cents today to two dollars and twenty-four cents. Uh, but this stock has been on a very uh, impressive move since the May lows, April May lows, that were close to let's say around the dollar fifteen range. Uh, they got up to uh, two dollars and fifty cents, uh, approximately in um, uh, two dollars and forty three cents in uh, early September. Uh, it's just a classic bullish chart here: higher high, higher lows, higher highs. Um, and uh, you know, on a fairly tight, uh, a fairly narrow trading range. Um, so I think this one has a lot more uh, uh, light, or a lot higher to go in it. That's why it's been one of my past picks, and uh, I like this one a lot. The next company is uh, North American Nickel. Uh, North American Nickel announced that they discovered a new nickel sulfide mineralized intrusion at their Manic Sock. Uh, project which is in Greenland. It's part of the Imiak Hill uh, play and um, uh, again some very good re drill results. They've got some good uh, uh, good numbers of nickel, copper and cobalt. I don't think that they were able to get as many drill holes uh, into this one as they would like but um, it really looks like they've got something quite spectacular at their um, at their pro project in, uh, in uh, Greenland. Uh, nickel, copper, cobalt, some platinum and palladium and gold in there as well. Um, so very interesting uh, project. Um, just going to uh, go to, oh, i got to get North American Nickels uh, stock up there. Uh, North American Nickels up a half a cent today to 26 and a half cents. Um, just looking at their stock chart, they had a pretty good run from August. That's around when they announced that they had found this new uh, discovery in, in Greenland of uh, base and precious metals. Stock moved up quite dramatically uh, from around the, let's say, 15, 16 cent range all the way up to 47. It's given back some of those gains, but it seems to be creating a new base here. Uh, and I think that will be a good one to uh, keep an eye on. NAN is their stock symbol and they trade on the Venture Exchange. And the final news release today, well, it's actually a few news releases. Uh, Augusta um, uh, Resources had a pretty uh, wild swing in the last couple days. Yesterday they were down quite dramatically. They dropped from, let's say, around the dollar eighty range, traded all the way down to $0.55, cents, closed the day at $0.65, cents, and then today they're up um, 61 cents, back up to a dollar 24. So what's been happening is yesterday they announced that uh, they had boosted their uh, their red kite uh, uh, financing um, to uh, the additional um, uh, the uh, the uh, revolving line of credits. They had 109 million. Or the 109 million dollar loan, they've increased that. This is the the stuff that will help them for with their uh, moving the project forward. And then there was a uh, news, uh, there was a, a report out or some kind of article out that uh, by a Save the Scenic Santa Rita's rep, uh, report, and it came out with all these uh, uh, all these comments about the EPA and their interpretation of what this all meant and uh, and uh, they sort of uh, scared the market uh, quite significantly and then later in the day um, uh, the uh, the Augusta put out a news release that sort of contradicted a lot of what uh, or it was a counter argument to a lot of the things that um, uh, that was said earlier by the Save the Scenic Santa Rita's. Uh, they, the headline from it is Augusta comments on Save Sa the Scenic Santa Rita's inaccurate press release. Um, so to get the full story of what's going on here, I su suggest you want to look at yesterday's news uh, that came out after our morning show uh, and uh, the look at the. Uh, loan facility of 109 million dollars, and then the 
the two art there's two articles there one from the uh, uh, let's say the uh, dissident group uh, that's opposing the development of this project and then the other one from August and I think you'll get a better idea of what's going on in this in the in, with with the project now after such volatility over the last couple of days it's really difficult to get a handle on the trend of the stock but um, they definitely have a, a very significant project there that looks like it uh, it will become a future mine and uh, some really good people involved with that so uh, definitely one to keep an eye on AZC is their stock symbol and they trade on Toronto so that's all the news for today um, before making any investment decisions it's important for you to speak with your financial advisor and do your own homework tomorrow uh, look at look for our best of the best in weekly news where I go through the the uh, first of all I look at all the companies I talked about Monday through Thursday and try to find the best ones and uh, and we talk about those pretty extensively I think George Cholis and I uh, might even uh, start to talk uh, uh, about gold and some of the other trends that I'm seeing on tomorrow's show. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you next uh, Monday on our uh, on our new show. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.